Hi, Gary Garrison with 888 VoIP Store. And today we're going to show you how to configure the Grandstream IP phones with 3CX. Now it's actually pretty simple and there's two different ways we can go about this. We can either just configure the phone by itself using the phone's web interface or we can use 3CX's automatic provisioning feature, which is definitely the best way of going. If we configure the phone via the phone's web interface, there's a lot of settings in there, and it's real easy to miss something, it's real easy to overlook something, and it's not going to be optimized for use with 3CX. So that's why you want to use the auto provisioning. But if we just want to set it up real quick and get the phone up and running as an extension, maybe for testing, then it's, I think it's all right to go ahead and use the web interface. So we'll go ahead and we'll log into the phone's interface and we'll kind of see the different settings that we may need to configure. We go over here to the device configuration and go to the account info. Right here is the main stuff you'll want to put in. The account name, the SIP server, outbound proxy, the user ID, which is going to be the SIP address in uh, 3CX, and the authenticate password from the SIP credentials, which is not shown on here for security purposes. Now, there's a lot of other settings in here, such as voicemail user ID, which is 999. That will get you to the voicemail system. You want to make sure you're using RFC 2833 for DTMF. And there's, there's a lot of other features in here that you want to just be careful of the settings. But like I said, it's much, much easier if we just use the 3CX provisioning tool. Now let's take a look at what it's going to take to set that up. First, we should have a DHCP server that can do option 66. If we do, we're going to be way ahead of the game. If not, we can tell the phone where to find the configuration file and we'll be able to do it that way. So let's, let's look at both ways. First, let's set up a DHCP server for option 66 since that's going to be the best way of doing this. If we come in here, this is a Microsoft DHCP server on Windows Server 2008. And if we go to my scope options here, we can see that I have a 066 boot server host name. Let me open that up here. And it's got a URL in here that the phone needs to go find its configuration files. HTTP colon slash slash the IP address of the phone system colon 5481 slash provisioning. Now this is the setting that you would use if you're using Cassini or the Abyss web server with 3CX version 8 or version 9. If you're using IIS, it's a little different. And I'm showing you right now on the bottom of the screen the two different URLs you'll need to use depending on which web server you're using. So make sure you make note of that depending on which web server you're using so you can put the right information in here. Now if you don't see this boot server host name in here, which it's not in there by default, just right click and go to configure options, scroll down to 066, there it is right there, and you paste it in and as soon as you hit OK it's going to show up. And when you do this you will want to restart the DHCP service. Just go to all tasks and restart. And once the service is restarted, now when the phone comes up, it's going to know where to get its configuration files. It makes it real simple. Now if you don't have a DHCP server like this that can do that, let me show you where to make that setting on the phone itself. Go back over to the phone and we're going to go to the advanced settings. We're going to come down here to the config server path. Now this is identical to the string that we put into the DHCP server without the HTTP colon slash slash. So same thing depending on which web server you're using as before but without the HTTP colon slash slash. That's the only difference. Now once we save this, as soon as we reboot this phone it would be ready to go get the configuration files. Now let's set up 3CX. I'm going to go to extension 500 here. I've already got the passwords and things set up, but I really don't need to know what they are 
because it's going to take care of this for me. We're going to go to the phone provisioning tab and by default there's nothing here so I'm going to put in the MAC address of the phone and I'm going to scroll down to the Grand Stream GXP 2010 come down click OK. Well, that's pretty simple all we did was we told that extension what MAC address we're going to use based on which phone it is which phone model and it went and created a configuration file. Now we reboot the phone and it's going to come up on that extension. So I'm just going to whip back to the phone screen here, hit reboot, and in just a few seconds the phone will come up on that extension and it will be ready to make, receive calls, and hit the voicemail button to go right into voicemail and the phone's all going to be set to go. So fairly simple procedure. I recommend you use a DHCP server that can do option 66 because that will just make your life so much easier in terms of basically plug and play functionality with the phones. Put in the MAC address, you're done. And already the phone's online and it's pulling in the phone book and everything else and we are set to go. So it's just that simple. This has been Kerry Garrison with 888 VoIP Store. Thanks for watching.